I was nine years old uh, when I had a meningitis. And uh, after that, I had an, a hearing loss on both ears. And uh, till this moment, I had uh, to wear on both ears normal hearing aids. So it was always uh, very, uh, very hard in school because the children, uh, they knew it. And um, yes, they uh, often make jokes about that. It was uh, very hard for me. Uh, one time I uh, changed the school because I couldn't stand it. I suffered a lot uh, under this uh, normal hearing aids. And um, yes, it's, uh, it's so important that you can see it. Um, yes, I think you, uh, you can call it a social stigma. For me, it, uh, it wasn't really a question if I should, uh, should have this operation. But I talked with my parents, with my mother and my father, and uh, my mother agreed with me. She, she wasn't so much worried because she knows that I study medicine and she thinks that I can, uh, can say something about the risk and so on. But my father was very um, skeptic. He had a phone call with uh, Dr. Mare in Hamburg and uh, with the professor who uh, what operated me. And um, after that, he was he agreed. And um, yes, so I had the operation. Yes, I had the operation on Tuesday morning, about three hours. And uh, the same day, I slept a lot. But when I waked up the next day. I was very surprised because I felt well, I had no pain. I looked into the mirror and I only saw a bandage. So um, I went home that same day and uh, went back to the hospital, hospital three days later for the bandage removal. And they removed the bandage and uh, I couldn't believe what I see in the mirror, uh, saw in the mirror because uh, there was nothing. I couldn't see the implant. I couldn't see a scar or some kind of injury. There was nothing. And um, I never feel pain. So when they turned on the implant, I uh, get off the hospital and walk to the street. And um, I could hear everything. There was a woman who walked behind me and I could hear the footsteps. So I turned my head around and I could, I could see that and I could hear it. And, um, yes, there was a bird uh, chirping on a tree and uh, I heard the, the rustle of, uh, of the tree and um, oh yes, I, I stand on the pavement and uh, there I heard a car and uh, yes, I turned my head and um, I couldn't believe how far the car was away. When <laughs> the first thing uh, when I was at home was that, that I want to hear some music. Um, so I put a CD into a CD player and um, it was a CD with Christmas songs and I've heard this CD about hundreds of times. So I thought I know the CD. But when the music starts, I couldn't believe what I was hearing there. Uh, I had all the different instruments. I had the bass and the guitar in the background. I can't, I can't describe it. It was, um, it was unbelievable. I was just sitting down close my eyes and listen to the music and it sounded so beautiful to me. Um, when I'm honest, I had tears in my eyes. <laughs> yes, later that same day I had um, a shower and uh, it was the first time for me that I could hear the water on my skin. I had the water on my skin and I heard the shampoo in my hair and um, it was wonderful. I, I couldn't hear the water for all the 15 years before and um, yes I think I had uh, the shower about one hour because I can't stop hearing the water. So when I met my friends uh, first time after the implant activation they said immediately what happened with your voice because um, they wondered what they couldn't believe what I what, what I uh, heard because my voice sound, sounds now in a completely other way. Before I couldn't hear the high frequencies, so I always tried to. Uh, I spoke always very high and very loud, and now my voice is deeper because um, that sounds for me more comfortable. So um, yes, it's deeper and it's lower, softer, and um, yes, I can whisper now 
because before I couldn't hear when I whisper because it was too low to hear. But now I hear it and I can whisper. I'm an aerobic instructor and uh, it was always very difficult for me to, uh, to do the classes because uh, yes, when I have to do sports, um, I turn up. I have to turn off and to, to put out the hearing aids because uh, when you sweat, they become wet and break down. So you have to do the sports without the hearing aids. Uh, before uh, I, um, yes, I made the classes and uh, I tried to, uh, to leave immediately at the fitness center because I don't want the other persons that they can uh, ask me something because it's always very difficult for me to, to talk with them without the hearing aids because I, I don't hear something. So and now I have the implant and it's absolutely no problem. I can do my class, I can stand up, hearing the question, answering it, it's no problem. It's great. <laughs> Before I had the implant, uh, when I uh, was riding my bike, I couldn't hear something because uh, when you have a normal hearing aids and uh, you put them into the airflow, you hear nothing than the air. Um, you can't hear the cars behind you, you can't hear speakers, other people, you can't hear nothing. And um, it's a completely different when you have the implant. When then when you're riding your bike, you can hear everything. You hear the cars behind you, you can move and um, you hear speakers, you hear all other traffic noises. So everybody knows if you want to use a stethoscope, you have to put it into the ear. And when you have normal hearing aids, you can't do that. So it was always very difficult for me before because I have to, um, yes, to put out the hearing aids and then to put in the stethoscope and move to the patients and get back and put in the hearing aids. So it was always very complicated. And now it's no problem. I have the implant put in the stethoscope, no problem. You can imagine how important it is that you can see it. So you can move you free. You don't um, have to pay uh, attention that nobody can see it. You can move free. You don't pay attention to it. And yes, it's the first time for me that I can also wear up my hair because uh, before I always tried to, ha to hide the normal hearing aids and now I can do everything with my hair. <laughs> You don't have to, to hide something, it's, uh, it gives me a completely other self-confidence. So my expression is that I don't depend on a device, it's my ear what is, which is hearing. So when I compare normal hearing aids with the implant, um, you can say that hearing aids, uh, they are a help, but an implant is a solution. And I don't have to, to think about it the whole day because you can see it and it don't disrupt you and um, yes, it's, um, I feel free.